நண்பர்களே வணக்கம் டாக்டர் டி ராமசாமி செக்ரட்டரி டிஎஸ்டி டாக்டர் டி எஸ் ஸ்ரீதர் டாக்டர் சி சுவாமிநாதன் வைஸ் சான்சலர் பாரதியார் யூனிவர்சிட்டி ப்ரொஃபஸர் மங்கல்ராஜ் ப்ரொஃபஸர் பி எஸ் மனோகரன் டாக்டர் கோபால் சுவாமி and all the dignitaries nasa scientist isro scientist drdo scientist and bardia all the professors and teachers and my dear students my greetings to all of you <laughs> dear friends i am indeed delighted to inaugurate and participate in the space festival organized by bardiar university coimbatore in collaboration with nasa in association with isro and drdo my greetings to organizers and participants faculty members researchers school and college students how many school students are there school students lift your hat school students are maximum school students ah uh, university students university students oh uh, equal number so uh, i am asked this for for purpose my greetings to the organizers and participants and faculty members researchers school and college students and the distinguished guests and invitees when i see you all i was asking myself what type of mission you young students will get focused and what type of innovation that you are going to venture into it in your career in the future since you are assembled here to celebrate the space festival organized by bardia university i thought it would be appropriate for the discuss share few thoughts on the topic a space missions and the nation the topic i have selected as space missions and the nation inge perumbalana manavargal space festival kalandu kondu eppadi space science and technologies ungalude vaalkai therathai ungalude lakshyathai adaiya vali vagukkum endra kanavudan ningal ellorum ke koodi undirkal manavan nanbargale urakkathil varuvadalla kanavu உன்னை உறங்க விடாமல் செய்வதுதான் கனவு அப்படிப்பட்ட அப்படிப்பட்ட கனவும் லட்சியங்களும் உங்களை உயர்த்தும் நீங்கள் எல்லோரும் வெற்றியடைய வளமான வாழ்வர ஒரு சிறு கவிதை கவிதை மூலம் என் கருத்தை உங்களுடன் பயந்து கொள்ள விரும்புகிறேன் அந்த கவிதையின் தலைப்பு வாழ்வில் நான் பறந்து கொண்டே இருப்பேன் வாழ்வில் நான் வாழ்வில் நான் பறந்து கொண்டே இருப்பேன் என்பதாகும் இதை எல்லோரும் என்னுடன் சேர்ந்து சொல்கிறீர்களா நான் பறந்து கொண்டே இருப்பேன் நான் பிறந்தேன் அரும்பெரும் சக்தியுடன் நான் பிறந்தேன் அரும்பெரும் சக்தியுடன் நான் பிறந்தேன் நற்பண்புகளுடன் பிறந்தேன் வளர்ந்தேன் நல்ல எண்ணங்களுடன் பிறந்தேன் உயர்ந்த எண்ணங்களை செயல்படுத்த நான் பிறந்தேன் ஆராய்ச்சி உள்ளத்துடன் நான் பிறந்தேன் ஆகாய உச்சியில் பறக்க நான் பூமியில் ஒருபோதும் தவற மாட்டேன் தவழவே மாட்டேன் ஆகாய உச்சிதான் லட்சியம் பரப்பேன் வாழ்வில் பறந்து கொண்டே இருப்பேன் எத்தனை பேர் பறக்கணும் பறக்க வேண்டும் என்ற உணவு பறக்க வேண்டும் என்ற உணர்வு வாழ்வில் பெரிய லட்சியத்தை அடைய வழிவகுக்கும் 
அந்த லட்சியத்தை அடைய என்ன செய்ய வேண்டும் நீ யாராக இருந்தாலும் பரவாயில்லை உன்னால் வெற்றியடைய முடியும் ஒவ்வொரு இளைஞர்களுக்கும் வாழ்வில் ஒரு லட்சியம் வேண்டும் அந்த லட்சியம் நிறைவேற கடுமையாக உழைக்க வேண்டும் தொடர்ந்து அறிவிப்பது அதை தேடி சென்றடைய வேண்டும் விடா முயற்சி வேண்டும் அதாவது தோல்வி மனப்பான்மையை தோழி இடைய செய்ய வேண்டும் இந்த நான்கு குணங்களும் இருந்தால் கனவு நனவாகும் பூமிக்கு கீழே பூமியிலே பூமிக்கு மேலே உள்ள எந்த ஒரு சக்தியை காட்டிலும் மன எழுச்சி கொண்ட இளைஞன் தான் இந்தியாவின் மிகப்பெரிய சக்தி அறுபது ஓடி இளைஞர் இளைஞர்களை பெற்ற நாடு இந்தியா எனவே இளைஞர்கள் மன உறுதியோடு முயற்சி செய்தால் முடியாதது ஒன்றும் இல்லை நண்பர்களே நவ் ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு டாக் டு யூ வாட்ஸ் கால் யூனிக் யூ இஃப் யூ லுக் அட் ஸ்பேஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் எனி டெக்னாலஜி ப்ரோக்ராம் இஃப் யூ லுக் அட் இட் தேர் ஆர் யூனிக் இன் சயின்ஸ் தேர் ஆர் யூனிக் பீஸ் இன் டெக்னாலஜி யூனிக் பீப்புள் இன் ஹியூமனிட்டிஸ் யூனிக் பீப்புள் இன் ஃப்ரீட் ஆஃப் பாய்ஸ் ஸோ த வேர்ல்ட் இஸ் மூவிங் டு இட்ஸ் பெட்டர் வே and people are working because of certain unique people the question is whether you want to be unique particularly i understand there are 600 high school students there are 200 university students i am addressing to them now dear student student friends look up what you see look up when you see the light and bulb you are seeing is it that yes or no when you see the light and bulb whom do you remember thomas alva edison you are right thomas alva edison for his unique contribution toward the invention of electric bulb and his electric light system you remember thomas alva edison every day when you are in the university you hear sound of the aircraft when you hear the sound of the aircraft you remember two great inventors very good in the right brothers proved that man could fly you have some of you have got two mobile telephones home also you got a telephone when the bell rings somebody you remember alexander graham bell okay now who built this because saturn v you know the spacecraft landed the first time in the moon for that you have to build a great space craft who built it can you think of can you think of so the yes sir for it is named the rocket builders name von uh, warner von braun von braun he is built the, the first rocket saturn v in the in nasa as the nasa contract so friends when everybody consider sea travel as the experience or voyage a unique person who was traveling from london to calcutta when he reached calcutta in the sea in those days only ship travel was there when he reached the calcutta he found the sun was shining in the sea sky was blue and she was blue at the horizon she asked a question why sky was blue why she was blue that question brought in nobel prize can you think of yes sir yeah it exactly sachi raman discovered back scattering of light during the back scattering of light the phenomena of what is happening in the sky and sea and friends the there is today we want to know just now we got a nasa book about sun yet and other planets now we want to know how long sun will shine if sun doesn't shine what happens you know so sun and all the other planets survival depends on the sun shining one side he discovered what is the one equation small equation that's called chandra limit you see the chandra limit you can calculate how long sun will shine the chandra limit was discovered by chandrasekhar subramanian 
he was at Chicago University and uh, he was Madras University, student of Madras University. He discovered, of course, he is well known for black hole also. So he got the Nobel Prize and friend, there was a great scientific lady who is known for discovering radium. Fantastic student, she got not one Nobel Prize, she got two Nobel Prizes, okay? One for discovering radium, another physics of material, for that she got a Nobel Prize. So friend, now we know, do you know the name of the great institution in Franco-Switzerland border, which has discovered the existence of the Higgs boson using Large Hadron Collider and measured property with the fundamental property of the elementary particles. CERN, very good. Of course, the name of CERN, European Center for Nuclear Research. Do you know why the particle is called boson? Who? Oh, oh, yes, yes, get up, get up, get up, get up. Why is it called boson? Eh? So? Very good. Well, this is because Indian scientist Satyendranath Bose first wrote in 1924-1925 to Albert Einstein about the existence of a such a particle in landmark paper. Then it was further elaborated by Peter Higgs and his team in 1960s. When I describe to you, friends, so far you heard unique people, isn't it? You heard about unique people, isn't it? Yes or no? They are all unique because you are remembering. As soon as I said, well, you can remember Thomas Alva Edison. As soon as Bell rings, you can remember Alexander Graham Bell. As soon as aircraft, you can remember Wright Brothers. As soon as Saturn V, you can remember the designer. So friends, they are, why you are remembering them? Why you are remembering them? When I describe to you, young friends, these historical events, you all jumped with the names. The scientists, technologists, warriors, great human beings who create the event are unique personalities. That's why you want to go. Why this university is called Bardia University? Because there was a great poet. He can sing his independent song. Before independence came 1947, he in 1910, he sang Aduva Me Pallu In nearly 30 years before he sang the song. So they are all unique people. Young friends, can you join? Can you join such unique performance of scientific history or any human history? Yes, you can. Definitely you can. Let us study it together. How it can be made possible? How each one of you and fellows, high school students and university students who are sitting here, you have to dream to be unique. You can. How you can become unique? Let us see. Friends, so far, I have met 15 million youths in your age group. After the throw. After the throw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh row. After seventh row, in such type of guys, boys and girls, I met 15 million youth in a decade's time. I learned. What did I learn? I learned every youth in your age group, every youth wants to be unique. That is you. Everybody wants to be unique. That is you, but the world all around you is doing its best day and night to make you just everybody else. You follow? Even if you want to be unique, the world day and night working against you to, because they want you to be everybody else. Question is whether you want to be everybody else or you want to be unique. At home, Dear young fellows, you are asked by your parents to be like neighbor's children for scoring good marks. Is it not? When you go to school, your teachers say, why not you become like the first five rankers in the class? Wherever you go, 
they are saying you have to be somebody else or you have got failure. In this environment, this unique environment, young fellows, young boys and girls, you have to be unique. Now, what's the challenge? What the challenge be unique? The challenge, my young friends, is that you have to fight the hardest battle which any human being can ever imagine to fight and never stop fighting until you arrive at your destined place that is unique you. Now how to achieve the unique you? Dear friends, when I see you all, I am thinking how you can achieve what you envision in your life. You must have a dream. How does achievement come? There are four proven steps. If you want to be unique, from all the lives of the people what I have studied, there are four proven steps. Having a great aim, not small aim, is a crime. Small aim is a crime. Is a crime. But you must have a great aim in life. Before 20 years of age, afterwards it's difficult. Okay? Before 20 years of age, you must have a great aim. Second thing, the aim alone not sufficient. Continuously you have to acquire the knowledge. Knowledge through great books, knowledge through great human beings, knowledge through the great teachers. Third one, hard work towards the aim. Fourth one, perseverance, without get perseverance to defeat the problem and succeed. Defeat the problem and succeed. If you have these four qualities, Definitely you can become closer to a unique fellow, unique boy or unique girl. Okay, what are the four criteria you have to have? Number one, great aim, not small aim, great aim. Number two, acquire continuously, continuously, continuously acquire the knowledge, continuously acquire the knowledge. Third one, or the fourth one, perseverance. Any work you do, small or big, there will be a problem. Problem should not become your master. You should become the captain of the problem, defeat the problem and succeed. So my best wishes to all the young fellows in Coimbatore, India, everywhere, to be my unique fellows. How many of you become unique fellows? Unique fellows. All of you. Uh, that. I'm glad all you want to become unique. Now, now let me share with you how the space science and technology has evolved over the period of, say, last 50 to 60 years. Now, space program, I asked myself, I have gone to California and stuff technology, I have gone to ESA, European Space Agency, and I go to many space centers in, in Russia, and of course I have worked in Indian Space Research Organization. I ask myself, why space program? What do you want to achieve the space program? Up to 2015, up to now, up to today, 2012, you have the capacity, the world has got the capacity to build any rocket, any spacecraft, and to launch to any planets which is very closer to the sun. Now friends, you have said done it. India has the same capacity to build. Now India has capacity has 150 transponders in the geosynchronous orbit. Nine remote sensing satellites in the orbit. So India has got the capacity to build any type of spacecraft, any type of launcher. What's the purpose? Purpose is to connect system at the Musaw village. Indian space program is known for uniqueness. The uniqueness is it's a society oriented. We have 600,000 villages. The 700 million people live there. How to connect? They transport and reduce in the orbit. They connect the villages, connect the cities, connect the towns, and connect the world out. Similarly, 
remote sensing satellites they give what is the what is the flood level when is the flood going to come it will forecast so these are the purpose of space program of course india and india with the usa collaboration they launched a spacecraft to moon and then they found first time in 50 years of history of the space the water the moon water particle the moon some water resources the moon so we are what why should we do the space program throughout the world today yen vera isro or nasa or isa or russia anywhere you launch a rocket system to put up orbitable orbitable kg kilogram one orbit kilogram kg in the orbit you have to spend 20000 dollars one kilogram is 20000 dollars to put up orbit but india can build it for 9 to 10000 dollars per kilogram maybe half now why we should do that what is the purpose of it that what i am going to talk to you now now characteristic of creative minds so unique people they will have a characteristic of creative minds french invention <coughs> carefully watch what i say for students invention and discoveries have emanated from creative minds invention discoveries have emanated from creative minds that have been constantly working and imagining the outcome in the mind with imagining and constant effort all the forces of the universe work for that inspired mind work for that inspired mind thereby leading to invention and discoveries discoveries higher the number of creative minds in an organization in a country the best result of innovation leading to becoming the first in development of technology and the system is possible i am sure all of you all of you friends will take this message work for your respective field which will lead you to make inventors and discoverers for a scientific upliftment now i have been advocating international cooperation for the large scale space mission where wherever i had an occasion to interact with the international as space communities what is the bigger vision which will give a challenging mission to the youth of the world to work for it is the vision it is the vision for bringing solar energy through space solar satellite and using earth moon mars as a single economic candidate these are the two major purpose or is vision for bringing solar energy through space solar satellite and using earth moon mars as a single economic candidate this is what i push it this will lead to challenging research mission in space science and technology and different research with a background and strength of technology progress in space research in the world i have been suggesting to the world space community to evolve world space vision 2050 2050 now we are 2012 i have given 2050 vision world space vision with the following three components first component a large scale societal vision and low cost access to space i have told you 20000 per kilogram putting in the orbit that should be brought down to 2000 dollars the comprehensive space security because we have got so many communication satellites we got so many remote sensing satellites like every country but there should be a comprehensive space security space exploration and current application mission now this has led to further discussion and formulation which culminated in the evolution of what is called idea kalam nss nss means national space science agency the nss is called kalam nss energy initiative with the focus on convergence of com- competency for different nations are towards the realization of a futuristic mission for a green energy for space 
on 4th November 2010, this initiative was declared as Kalam NS Space Based Solar Force Initiative to the global audience by National Space Society of United States and was participated by representatives from Indian Space Society Organization and the Artemis Innovation Management. The sun, as you know, radiates about 10 trillion times the energy which human consumers across the world today. If we are able to con extract even a small portion of this energy from the sun, it will be sufficient to secure the energy demands of our future. There are three major focus areas in the space space solar power plant. First component is the space space solar power plant itself. Second is the earth based collection system. And third important aspect is the medium of transmission from space to earth. Another important factor is the cost of the space space power plant, which given the current, I have told you already, that we have to work for to bring down the cost. And uh, of course, I have suggest, we have suggested hyperplane, which are efficient of 15% payload to weight. Now only all the launch vehicle rocket system in the world, only 3 to 4%. There is a using the hyperplane principle with the efficient of 15% payload to overall weight from the existing 2% with the ability to relaunch multiple times reusable would certainly be instrumental bringing down the cost of placing $20,000 to $2,000, definitely ISRO, DRU, and many nations work together in this area. Now friends, let me talk about to you my, my visualization of space program. In the last five decades, Indian space, missile and aircraft technologies have matured and have tremendous integrated potential for developing world-class newer systems in the next three to four decades. I will suggest the following space mission. Make manned space mission to moon and Mars and establishment of space industry. Cost effective space transportation system using hypersonic reusable vehicle. Harnessing space solar energy through solar satellite for power and drinking water. Developing solar sail for interplanetary mission. Integrated disaster management, role of space technology. Reuse of reuse, refueling, repair and maintenance of satellite geosynchronous orbit, operational Indian navigation satellites. I have described all of them in my paper. It is available in my www.abdulkalam.com in my website. Now, friends, in conclusion, in conclusion, history has proven whenever when you enter the space program or any scientific program, history has proven that those who dare to imagine the impossible are the ones who break all human limitations. Every field of human endeavor, whether science, medicine, sports, the arts, or technology, the names of the people who imagine the impossible are engraved in our history. By breaking the limits of their imagination, they change the world. With this background, I would like to ask you, what you would like to be remembered for, young fellow? Young girls and boys, I am asking you, what you would like to be remembered for? You have to evolve yourself and shape your life. You should write it on a page today. That page may be a very important page in the book of human history. You will be remembered for creating that one page in the history of the nation, whether the page is page of invention, the page of innovation, or the page of discovery, or the page of creating the societal change, or the page of removing the poverty, or the page of fighting injustice, or planning and executing the mission of networking of viewers. I am sure, I am sure all of you today, you will you'll definitely write to be remembered as one of the great scientist technologies for that you have put a foundation today. Next one. Thank you. Let me once again congratulate all the students. My best wishes to all the members of Bardia University Success Capacity Building Mission for future research and development program by the Aerospace Community. May God bless you all, friends. I have a certain number of books by Chancellor Professor Swaminathan.
what you would like to do. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for having given a score concept formula to become an unique one. We understand it's not only a formula to become an unique one. It's a formula to young generation to become Dr. A.B.J. Abdul Kalam. Thank you very much for your most enlightened words.